Hello everyone, it's Frank Walters here and today I'd like to talk about the secrets of Provence. Now Provence, south of France by the sea, uh, absolutely amazing place. Uh, brilliant food, lovely wine and of course great en plein air painting opportunities. I have a retreat down there and I'm preparing something here. This is Antibes. A uh, photograph of Antibes, and I'm putting together the uh, a pencil drawing of the composition needed to be done, I think, uh, obeying the, the rule of thirds, perspectives, and so on. Um, I painted this during a Zoom session, and I came up with a little tip towards painting composition, which I think is very important. Have a little listen to what I had to say. One thing that, that um, with, a, with a painting, with any co any composition that you've got, a lot of you know you 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 so you've got to make sure that you know if you've got a road going like that with trees and everything that there's a danger that the composition that you will be going out of frame. That's the, or or it could be the other way around. The the road could be sort of down, and you're going out of frame. And what you should always try and do, and this is quite important, do that. You should try and keep interest within that and not let people go. Don't send people off. Keep the viewer engaged with your painting. Uh, anyway, right, here we are. We have a nice, synthetic, big, fat, mop-style brush. That's what you want. Loads of pigment on there. Always pre-mixed pigment. Got some cerulean going now, and I'm looking at the clouds. Um, putting in some nice puffy clouds, dropping in a, a little bit of shadow under there as well. This is important. Get some clean water and take off the hard edge of shadows, so blend, blend in the shadows. That's really quite important. Uh, looking now at uh, ticking in uh, with a bit of French ultramarine, the sea, and also the background there, you can see that's actually Nice in the background that you can see. And now just a nice flat glaze of the mountain again in the blue. Um, now mixing up some of the warm, we've, we've had the cool blue, now comes the warm raw sienna. Always use raw sienna as opposed to uh, yellow ochre because when raw sienna hits blue it doesn't turn green whereas ochre does that's the issue i have with it and of course i just love raw sienna and it works so well now with burnt sienna which i'm now throwing in for the roofs mixing in a little bit of cad red in there as well as you can see just getting a bit of heat getting some nice color it's when you start getting reds next to blues you you really start to play with temperatures cools next to warm colors and and that's where the excitement starts to happen that's where interest happens as well i'm just keeping this fairly loose i'm i'm looking at the i'm looking at the reference but i'm not following it exactly i'm 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 implying and watercolor on plein air painting is all about implying um, you've just got to do your own thing. You've just got to look at the subject and, and try and emulate it, but you're not a camera. Uh, you're an artist, so give it your own feeling, your own flavor, your own techniques. Just make it sort of happen. That's the, the most important thing. Right, I'm continuing now through the mid-tones, the important mid-tones, and uh, we've just about captured everything now. It's looking good. Um, now I need to put in those beautiful, rich purple shadows. This is where the painting really starts to come together. Um, again, carefully looking all the time. Um, now big, fat glazes of, of shadow go in. Keep pulling them down. The great thing about value, and value is so important, is that it's the, the, the darks make the lights really light and the lights make the darks really dark and they need to sit together on a page. And this is where these wonderful, you need a nice big fat brush loaded with lots of fluid and, and, and novices make that mistake. They just don't get enough fluid in there. Putting in the French flag, a little tickle at the end there and we're just about done. Here we are. Um, if you have a look at this, this still has the pencil drawing on it and it was important to take the pencil off with a rubber, just a, a few little bits here and there and voila, 
we're complete, we're done. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Come and have a look at my website at frankwatercolors.com. Take care. Bye-bye.